Hi guys, it's Skimbo here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a video looking into the recent 1.57 patch and what important fixes and changes it brings to console versions of No Man's Sky. So 1.57 has been active on PC, I think since about the 17th or the 19th of August. August 17th of August, that's the one. I've literally just fucking Googled it. But consoles have recently got the patch, and today I thought I'd go over the most important changes and fixes. So, like all videos I create relating to bug fix patches, I am not going to be reading out every single line of fixes, because that would take way too long and would be way too boring. So, as I said, I'm picking the most useful and apparent changes to share and elaborate on. In the description of the video, you will find a link to the full patch notes and I would highly recommend you go and check them out and read them for yourself as I'm gonna skip over a good like 80% of all of them. But anyway, with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. So like always, there is a good amount of stuff to read through in this patch. And just by me briefly looking over these patch notes, there does appear to be a lot of famous bugs and annoyances that have been ironed out, which is always nice to see. Okay, so one of the tastiest fixes this update brings is various improvements to load times. And the specific measurements are approximately 5-10% to improvement to warp times and 30% improvement to initial game load now this for me is a welcomed addition i remember booting up no man's sky for the first time once next had installed and the game just simply didn't load i literally had to alt f4 close the whole game down and reopen it to fix this insanely long load time the fact that warp times have also been improved as well aids the gameplay itself of no man's sky because i know for a fact that loading always takes you out of the zone kind of kills your emergency a little bit and having less time waiting around staring at a loading screen is always good news next up are various different crash fixes relating to creatures and terrain generation however that was an issue and also improvements to performance performance is always going to be a big one for players no man's sky could run a load better and seeing these minor changes to how the game plays is always nice now I haven't actually played this update for myself, I've been way too busy to just sit down and play No Man's Sky, so I can't report just yet if this has actually made a significant improvement to the load times and the performance and all of that stuff, however, I'm sure it is a welcome addition regardless. There does seem to be somewhat of an emphasis on the stability side of the game with 1.57, as these crash fixes and performance improvements should hopefully allow the game to run a lot smoother and run into far less major issues. So one of the most interesting and uh, controversial changes with this patch is the increase of damage dealt by biological horrors. Now I'm all up for this even though I have shit myself on many occasions when I've bumped into these fuckers because I want the game to be more challenging. I don't like to play permadeath or survival, I like to play normal but I still want that little sprinkle of challenge. So adding a little bit more damage to them does make a lot of sense and on top of this hello games have also added combat music when engaging with these biological horrors which for some reason was not present before i'm not quite sure why that was but it's nice to see it's been added regardless it's a cute little addition finally there have been multiple improvements to visuals one improvement is the appearance of clouds for 4k and 1440p display options seems very specific but i can imagine that the clouds didn't upscale all that well because uh, they look like shit. Well, better than they did, but not quite perfect. Just don't fucking overthink it, okay? But for those who aren't blessed enough to have a 4K monitor, there are various other visual improvements to items in the game itself, like some of the exotic biomes have had a visual overhaul, space station technology merchants, and buried technology. Again, I haven't seen these for myself, so I can't report if these are major fucking changes, but I can imagine the texture resolution has been upped a little bit just to make it a little bit clearer. Perhaps it was a little bit blurry. 
maybe a little bit lackluster. And the very last major change in the 1.57 patch is something I welcome with open arms, and that's making underground hazards more visible. Now, I know myself that I always miss those little toxic fuckers, so it's nice we can get a bit more of a heads up now and not punch holes in our desk and hurl pro Brexit insults at the monitor when we get killed by one. Just me? Oh, okay then. So those are just some of the major additions that 1.57 brings to No Man's Sky. As I said, a load of really tiny specific fixes are of course glossed over in this video, which is why I highly recommend you go and click on the link in the description to read it all for yourself, because you never know, your Zendesk report might have well been blessed by Hello Games. But that is just about all I have to say for today's video, so guys, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you guys enjoyed it then please do feel free to leave a like on it and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then that'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skimboot signing out